you want? Yeah, now I'm zooming out. And I'll talk. Ah. Hello, my name is Jack Watson. And we're here to assess the anthropogenic impacts on this beautiful country. <coughs> if you look over my left shoulder, you see... Farm. Now we are 28 minutes into <coughs> our investigation and look up. Ah, just a point. Oh, it's focused <coughs> on my finger. Disgusting. Now I'm joined by Theo and Dan. Theo, do you like logging? Yeah, it's great. What? Logging's terrible. Yeah. Explain yourselves. Bad for the environment. Uh, climate change. <laughs> we need houses. Yeah. But the world's warming up. Yeah. We need houses. <laughs> we need houses. <laughs> Kind of stop moving to be honest. Nah, keep keep on it. Okay. It's a disgrace. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. 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 How could they? Oh wow. Boo! He doesn't like the green. Hey, two. Join us two days into our four day investigation into the human impacts upon the Yorkshire Dales National Park. As you can see over my left hand shoulder, this is a quarry. Now, some people like quarrying, some people do not like quarrying. We do not like quarrying. Hello there, this is Jack Watson reporting again. Now, day two, we haven't seen many anthropogenic impacts upon the York Dales National Park but you look around and we now see destruction disgrace no river anymore it's gone
Skull Caves. Let's zoom in a bit. And then zoom out and come back. It's a popular tourist hotspot location. In the Oxdales National Park. Now, as you can see, they're usually quite popular, but I don't think it's open right now. What else can we say about it? Erosion crater. Erosion crater. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go So we are now deep underground in a cave. And you can see. Erosion. Wow. Here we are on day four, looking for the impacts of human people, and we see nothing. Tourists. So Theo, what have you found on your investigation into the Yorkdales National Park and the human impacts upon it? signal? No, absolutely There's not. no phone signal? But that's good. What have you been doing with your life? It's nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. So the fact that there's no phone signal means that there's less tourists perhaps? Maybe. Less eyes on the landscape. Have you seen many tourists? into the human impacts of the Oxdales National Park? Well, we haven't really seen much tourism affected areas. Uh, as only on Thursday we saw a few things like quarries and other stuff. Yeah. This is a lot less than things like Lake Street, which is in the Oxdales and the Mexico area. When did we visit Lake Street? Last week. So ah, okay, very good. So there's less tourism here than the Lake Street.
What have you learned on your four day investigation? Um, there's not that much tourism impact in Yorkshire to be honest. We struggle to find things to talk about. Fair enough. down the track where we chase down a pack of the local sheep. Rhys, yeah. what have you learnt this weekend? Uh, that there are lots of sheep. It's almost like we're back in Wales. And uh, what is your connection to Wales? Uh, Andrew John. Ooh, there's uh. food everywhere. Oh, okay. And uh, what do you think of the sheep industry here in the Yorkshire Dales? Um, there are a lot of sheep and there are a lot of empty buildings that no longer belong to farms. Oh, here's one now. Look at that. Okay. Perfect and how many timing. of these scatter the landscape? Uh, there are multiple. So you could say that some, in some cases they ruin the landscape. Watch oh. the edge. <laughs> they do look quite nice though. They do. However, there's another one. There's sheep over there. And there's a few... <laughs> Yeah, now I'm zooming out and now talk. The anthropid, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 